and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and in this video I'm going to show you how to work brioche with short rows. I'm going to start out by showing you brioche in two colors and how to work short rows and then I'm going to show you how to do it in one color. My little sample here is a make-believe top of a raglan sweater. This is the neck, this is a sleeve, sleeve, the front, and the front, and we're going to work short rows across the back neck to build it up for a shawl collar. This is in conjunction with a tutorial that I have on Ravelry. It's called It Takes a Guild Cardigan Tutorial, and we make a shawl collar cardigan with pockets custom made to fit you, starting from a swatch with yarn of your choice and ending up with a perfect sweater. So in this little section here, we're going to be learning short rows and brioche. I have a previous video similar to this that shows how to pick the stitches up and the ratios, and I'll put a link to that up in the corner here so you can take a look at that when you're finished with this one. So we've already picked up the stitches. We started with the right side row, and I picked up all around here, and I've placed markers in the area where I'm going to work the short rows. I want to work eight rows of brioche here. Each two passes of brioche accounts for one row. So in order to make eight rows of brioche, I'm going to have to work 16 passes. And because we're only going to be working across these stitches on the back, it's going to require three needles. One for this part, one for this part, and one for the back. That's just for the two color brioche. Now we're ready to work the second pass of a right side row. So our first pass was with our um, main color and we're going to do our second pass with our contrasting color which is going to be the off-white. So this is the second pass of a right side row in brioche. I'm going to use a second needle. So we slip the first stitch and then we're going to purl the second stitch. Then we're going to slip one yarn over. This is standard brioche. I'll also link a video on how to work the brioche. Slip one yarn over. We're going to slip our marker. Purl. And we're going to work over to the marker on the other side of the neck the top marker, this one right here, with this pass. And then we'll make our first short row turn. Here we are coming up on the end of the back neck. And we're going to want to end with a purl here. We have a purl over on this side, right after the marker, and we want to end with a purl on this side. So it's a slip one yarn over, purl, and there's one left to make a knit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to purl these two stitches together and decrease one and that gets rid of that extra stitch and it will be just fine. Then we're going to um, take the marker off. We're going to slip the next stitch to the right needle point to point, move the yarn back, so we're wrapping that stitch and we're going to turn our work. We're going to drop the light yarn now we're going to work back across here in the blue color again. This is the first pass of the wrong side and we're going to need to use our third needle at this point and you'll see why in a minute. So this is going to be a slip one yarn over. This is a brioche pearl. Slip one yarn over brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, brioche pearl, and all the way till we come to the marker. We're going to take this marker off and we're going to slip this stitch to the right needle point to point along with its uh, yarn over and then slip it back so we just wrapped that stitch. Now technically 
we have worked two passes this way. We did the pickup row, the first pass of the light color, which was the second pass of the row, and we have done one pass of the light color this way. We know from our prior education that every short row turn creates two rows of knitting. We've done a short row turn here and a short row turn here, but we only have one and a half rows on here. When we come back and we work our second row now with the light, we're going to be wrapping this a second time. So we come back. This is why we have to have this separate needle. So we have one needle for the right side, one needle for the left, one for the back. We're going to slide this needle all the way to the end. You could use a double pointed needle here as well, but I'm using circulars. Because now we're going to work the light yarn that is wrapped around this stitch. So we're going to pull it up. We have our wrapped stitch right here. And now we're going to work, this needs to be a brioche, our yarn needs to come over like this. So this is a brioche knit, a slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, we come back to the end of this needle. We don't need a marker there because it's the end of the needle. Now on the auxiliary needle on the side here, we have a wrapped stitch. It was wrapped with the blue. We're going to wrap that stitch with the white now. Same wrap, same direction, and put this over here. Then we're going to turn our work. So now we've technically worked two rows of brioche knitting, four passes, across the back neck. We're ready to work our, the beginning of the third row, and we're going to go across this way. So we're now working with the blue yarn again. It's always the first pass of the row. The first stitch is going to be a slip one yarn over, and then we're going to do a brioche knit or bark. Let's slide this needle up a little bit. And we're going to work across the back neck until we get to the end of the back neck where we wrapped the previous stitch. We can see the wrapped stitch. At this point we're going to pick up the wrap and work it with the stitch on the needle together as one stitch. Then we're going to do a slip one yarn over and we're going to wrap the next stitch. Now, how often you wrap is based upon your ratio that you're going to figure out. You'll need to watch the other video where I talk about the ratios. So now we have, we've wrapped another stitch here. This is our third, uh, third needle. Second needle, we're sliding this to the other end because now we need to do the white pass. Remember, it takes two passes to make one row. So we're going to turn our work. The, right, the white yarn is right here coming from this short row wrap that we have here. See the yarn is wrapped right there. So this is going to be a brioche pearl or a burp. Slip one yarn over and we're going to work across until we get to the wrapped stitch on the other side. split my yarn. Okay, now here's our wrapped stitch right here and we're going to wrap it with the white yarn. And then we'll turn our work. Now we're going to work with the blue yarn again. This is the first pass of the wrong side row. This is the last row that we're going to do in the two color brioche because you'll have you have the idea now. So slip one yarn over, purl, slip one yarn over, purl. So it's just like doing regular short rows, only you have to wrap each of the wrapped stitches twice 
because it takes two passes to make one row. So there's two wraps for each short row turn. Okay, I'm going to come over here. We'll pick up the previous wrap and make a new wrap, and then we'll do the white pass. And then from that point forward, we'll do one color brioche, and I'll show you how to do the short row turns with one color. Here's the wrap. Two colors wrapped around the neck. We pick these up from the back, put them up on the needle, because we're on the wrong side. And this is going to be a brioche pearl. Then we're going to do a slip one yarn over and the next stitch will be wrapped. We're moving it with its yarn over. Then we're going to slide the stitches back on this needle so we can do the white pass. Remember it takes two passes. Even in one color it takes two passes but you're going in opposite directions. So now we've got the white And this is a brioche knit. Slip one yarn over. Bark. I love two color brioche for collars. It is just so beautiful. It really makes a statement. It's a nice cushy fabric too. Nice for collars. And then we're going to wrap the stitch, same one the blue was wrapped, slide it over, wrap it, put it back. Now let's take a look at the right side of our work. We're starting to see our brioche stitch pattern. It's very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And here are our short row turns. We've got them here. And we've got over here. This this will be woven in. So that'll be on the other side of the fabric. And you can see how we're starting to create that back neck with the short rows. It looks very nice. Continuous pattern across. Now let me show you how to do it with just one color, okay? So with one color, you do not need all three of these needles. You only need your regular needle. So I'm going to get rid of this middle needle when we work across here. So we're just going to do one color right now. So this is a slip one yarn over knit. So it's the first pass. We're working in one color right now. And remember, it still takes two passes to make one row of knitting. And each short row turn uh, uses up two rows of knitting, so it will use four passes. We'll still need to wrap the stitches twice, but it won't be with two colors. It'll just be with one color. Okay, now we've got... Coming to the end of this needle, we can take it away. We don't need that one anymore. And we're going to pick up these wraps and conceal them. I'll also put a video up here on just wrap and turns and how to work them. Then we're going to work the next stitch and then we're going to wrap this stitch. Now we can turn and we're going to go back to this needle so we'll end up with just one needle. I'm going to put our marker back on here because we just have one needle. So this is going to be a brioche knit, slip one yarn over. We're doing the second pass right now. The first pass is from right to left and then you turn the work. The second pass is from right to left versus when you're using two colors you work the same direction two times, then turn your work. 
this in one color, you turn your work at the end of each pass. I have a whole series of videos on brioche knitting if you're interested. I'll link the playlist at the end of the video. Okay, here we come up on our previous short row turn. And we're going to do pass this again. This is going to be the second pass for this short row turn. The second. And then we can turn our work. We're back just to one needle now. We're going to put our marker back on here. This stitch now has two wraps around it, so next time it'll be picked up and worked. And we're going to come over here and put the second wrap on this next stitch. Here we come. This stitch has one wrap. See it? We're going to give it a second wrap. Put the stitch marker back on. And then we're going to do the second pass of this row. This will be the second pass of the second set of rows, second row in the one color brioche. So at the end of this pass, we will have worked two rows of one color brioche. Okay, here is our wrapped stitch. It's been wrapped twice, and we need to pick these up from the other side, put them up here, and work it all together as one stitch. Then we're going to work the next stitch, and then we'll wrap this stitch. Now let's take a look and see what we've got now. We have now worked two brioche rows in one color. We worked four in two colors. We've continued our short row turn. See, this one's wrapped here. It's got the two wraps, so when we come back to it this time, we'll pick those up and conceal them, work a stitch, and wrap the next stitch. Over here, we've been, we just picked up the wraps on this stitch. This is the one we concealed the wraps on, and we wrapped this stitch. It's the newly wrapped one. So there you go. That's how you work short rows in brioche stitch. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Come back and watch some more. I know this one's really complicated, but there are some people that are very interested in being able to do this successfully. So I know they're waiting for this video. Um, there'll be links to the other brioche videos and short row videos uh, down in the description. Give me a thumbs up. Sub subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications once you've subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Happy knitting.